Less is a great tool to build CSS. It allows to write less code as well as to create smarter and cleaner style sheets. Less allows to extend the CSS syntax with advanced features like the mixins, the variables, or the operators, for example. Another great example of the less features are the built-in functions that allows to do math and to run functions directly in your style sheets. It is also possible with less to create new data with existing information in your page, just like in any other programming languages. So with less, you can write object-oriented CSS. We're going to see an example in this video preview, and that's going to be the built-in functions. In this video lesson, we're going to talk about functions. More specifically, we're going to cover color functions, which is part of the built-in functions supported by less. So with less, it is possible to run functions in order to access existing information that we have on the page. So to put it more simply, what we're going to do is creating new colors from existing colors that we have on the page. So let's see how we can create a function. First, you have the function lighten, which is going to be used to increase the lightness of a color. So it takes two parameters, first color for the color object, then the amount by how much you want to increase the lightness of the color object. So this can be any value between 0 and 100%. And this function will actually allow us to access a lighter shade of an existing color. So we're going to see an example later. You also have the function darken that actually does the opposite by decreasing the lightness of an existing color. So that also takes two parameters. So first the color object, then the amount by how much you want to decrease the lightness of an existing color in percentage. So you can have the full list of the built-in functions supported by Less by going on the website lesscss.org section functions. For example, you have the function fade that also takes two parameters, fade in that decreases the transparency of a color and fade out that does the opposite. So back to the code editor, we're going to start with our demonstration. And I'm going to start by defining a new variable. And I'm going to name this one template color. Then to this new variable, I'm going to assign another existing variable to which I have assigned a hex code color. What I'm aiming for basically is to create a new design by creating new colors from an existing color. So we're going to have a design with different shades of an original color, an existing color. So I'm going to update the color value for the border variable. And we're going to use the function darken to increase the darkness of this color variable by 5%. So the less compiler will take care of calculating so by how much this color will be calculated, 5%, and will apply the corresponding hex code value. So we're not going to need to find this one in order to create this new color. So let's see how this looks now in the browser. We're going to refresh. And here you go. So now you see that we have so a dark blue color for the borders of the H1, top and bottom. So it's not very visible though because it actually blends with the rest of the design, which uses dark colors. So what we're going to do next is actually we're going to update the entire design of this page by using this same variable. And we're going to go first to this mix in common rules where we are using. So the properties background and the color property. And we're going to be using functions. So lighten and darken in order to create new colors to access different shades of this color. So first lighten for the color. So we're going to use first a template color for the color object, then 45% for how much we want to lighten to so increase the lightness of this existing color. Let's check out in the output in CSS. We're going to see that now we have a new hex code value for the color. This has been calculated by less, the less compiler. And we're using the add template color for the background color. And here you go. So now we have this dark blue background color for the H1. And we have a lighter shades of the midnight blue color for the text of the H1. We're going to continue with the navigation for which we've been using. So this color variable at medium gray for the background color. So we're going to use as well a function that's going to be lighten in order to create a new color from an existing one. So for the first parameters for the color object, we're going to use add template color. Then we're going to increase the lightness by 10%. So you see that with less, you can obtain various data from your page. You can access existing information in order to create new ones. I'm going to make another demonstration, but this time to show you the power of less. 
which is to edit your code in one place to update the entire design. So what we're going to do, we're going to be using again the same variable, template color, but we're going to assign another color variable. So for example, we have green C. So we're going to go get this one, copy it from here, then assign it to template color. So we're allowing less to access another existing information to create new ones, to create this design. Here you go. So that is a little bit bright, so you can certainly play with the functions darken and lighten to make some adjustments. It's just to show you the power of less by editing your code in one place. So by using the function then you can allow less to access different data and create new ones to create this design. So we're going to continue with our demo. We're going to use another variable. Then you can have this design with different shades of red. So I'm going to go back to midnight blue because this is the color that I prefer. So you can play around and play with creating new colors from existing ones by using functions like darken and lighten in order to access different shades of an existing color. And you can also access the full list of built-in functions supported by Les by going on their website, lesscss.org. In this video, you have just seen a sample of the advantages of using the Les features in your code. With built-in function, you can create new colors from existing colors. So that was one example of how you can use the power of the less features in order to extend your CSS. That was one video lesson from the class. If you have enjoyed it, you can go to Learnable in order to watch the entire course. Thank you for watching.